Hi guys, it's Kelsey. Obviously, I can't come to the phone right now. Leave me a message. Bye. Kelsey was our 18-year-old daughter. She was the middle of five children, right smack in the middle. She was um, 18 years and 30 days, to be exact. She had just graduated from high school nine days previous, had enrolled in K-State University, was going to go there to march with her sister in marching band at K-State. She was teetering between being a nurse and being a veterinarian and had decided that she would rather see blood in animals than blood in people. Um, Kels was something special. She'd go out of her way to help people. Uh, when she was a section leader in marching band and, and band, she'd bake cookies for everybody in her section or put together goodie baskets. She would make sure that all of her friends were just embarrassed to know get out on their birthdays at school <laughs> because she'd bring in these huge balloon bouquets and make them carry them around all day. Uh, she just liked to have a good time. Um, she really could. I think it was Nancy Grace that talked about her, called her Scrubbed in Sunshine. Because uh, she really could. When she walked into her room, it just kind of lit up. Everybody knew she was there. <laughs> very outspoken, could be very obstinate. Uh, but, I mean, she was a good kid. She did the, the right thing. She wasn't involved in alcohol and drugs. She didn't go out late, you know. We always knew where she was. She called home if she was going to be late or if anything was going on. So when she went missing, it was we knew something was wrong. It was quickly obvious. Because of because it was out of the norm for what she normally did. After Kelsey was killed, I called and talked to Mark Lunsford, the father of Jessica Lunsford. And um, he called me back. I was having a really bad day. And he said to me, Mrs. Smith, you will find where your passion is. You will see where the system failed your daughter. Just start a 501c3 in her name, and that's where your heart will be. And that's how it came about. We got our, our flagship program, which is the Safety Awareness Seminar, where we go to high schools, colleges, businesses, and give a presentation about how to stay safe, what you need to do to stay out of situations. It's geared towards youth and young adults, but it really applies to any age. The Safety Awareness Seminar really has five main points to it. One is self-esteem, self-respect. Uh, the next one is mental preparedness. Then we have tactical awareness, being aware of your surroundings and what's going on around you. Physical preparedness, and then that part of it we talk about different ways to take action should you need to, but we don't really teach a hands-on type method of what to do. There's Whatever works best for a person is really what we promote. And then lastly, we talk about survival mentality and having that uh, with you all the time so that you always come home. Uh, those five components make up the message. Um, the other thing about it, as we were looking into what we wanted the foundation to do, uh, we found that there's a lot of organizations that focus strictly on women and, and the Kelsey Smith Foundation focuses on men and women. What Kelsey's what came about was they wanted that technical information to be available on a real-time basis 24-7. And that's what that is. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's making the uh, cellular services um, put their technology for law enforcement purposes. Put now, what the legislators explained to them what needed to change. And federal law states that cell phone companies may release cell phone location information. Kansas law now states that they shall. And that's what we're trying to do federally is to get it changed to where they have to turn over cell phone information. It has to go through the committee process in the House and then the committee process in the Senate. And quite often there are slight differences in legislation. So then a conference committee of the appropriate committees, usually it's just the chairman and the ranking member, uh, or maybe two the, the vice chairman may go. So you have six people, three from the House, three from the Senate that will meet and hammer out the details. And then it goes back to both bodies for a vote before it can go to the president. When I say a tragic event happens, this should be available to, not limited by age, but should be available to anyone who's in trouble, that we can use the system to ping their phone and find out where they're at. It's bittersweet. Uh, just the journey our life has now taken has been surreal. She always said she was going to be the famous one, and she loved being in front of the camera. Theater, taking pictures all the time. It has enhanced our lives in that we are keeping other kids safe.